Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, I thought it was time I'd get around to upgrading the storage in my computer. The drive I've got in it's getting kind of old and getting kind of laggy and stuff, and it's got me a little paranoid that it might go out. So I thought I'd replace it with a Wedge Digital Red drive. These are actually NAS drives, but you can use these in your computer uh, for storage and stuff because they're actually really, really good for that. They're meant for constant usage, been on 24-7. And I got the 5400 RPM version because it's a little bit cheaper than the Pro version, but also because it runs cooler and quieter. So anyway, let's go over here and install this drive in the computer over behind me here. And after we get done, I'll show you some benchmarks and stuff. Okay, everyone, welcome back. You're probably noticing a different shirt. Well, different shirt, different day. If any of you have ever copied data before, you know it can take a while. And in my case, it took about two and a half hours to copy all my files off my uh, older three terabyte drive, you know, Western Digital Green, over to my four terabyte, you know, Western Digital Red. It's called, you know, it take a while. So obviously, different day. Now, you're probably thinking also, Joe, yeah, the green drives aren't the best performance ones, but why upgrade from a 3 terabyte to a 4 terabyte if the 3 terabyte was working? Well, I don't know if I remember if I mentioned from yesterday or not, my 3 terabyte drive, which this particular one right here, had been showing some quirks. Now, while smart, you know, system monitoring software and everything for a West Digital Drives wasn't detecting anything wrong with it. Matter of fact, it, when I go to check everything, it says it's perfectly fine. Run check disk, all sorts of other uh, software. It doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. However, when I did go to benchmark it, uh, the reads on it were pretty low down in the 80s, while the writes were still up in the, the 120s, which is about normal for that particular drive. But 80s is really low. Normally, your reads are much higher. So between that and it taking a while to pull up files and stuff, I was getting kind of paranoid and from years of experience has taught me, drive starts acting a little funny, even if everything checks out fine, time to start sh uh, shopping for another drive. Now, this particular drive right here, I've had a while. Matter of fact, it was in this enclosure uh, for quite a long time before I took it out and put in my system when I built up a new system and everything. So the re why I'm thinking this drive is went out is probably it got burn up over time due to heat particularly because I'm not you know the, the ventilation in these cases you got ventilation from the bottom top and a little bit on the back but really that's not ventilation especially since a lot of times I had them laid on their side like this with stacked on top of each other so yeah it probably just got you know wore out from getting too much heat that is one of the biggest things that does kill hard drives as long as you don't drop them is a you know heat over time does kill them so hopefully the newer case and stuff has much better airflow shouldn't have any more issues now that's why i had to upgrade the hard drive if it wasn't for that i would have probably held out another year or two and not messed with it now why did i choose the wish digital red well in particular i chose the wish digital red uh, three-year warranty that are built a little bit better than your average hard disk drive uh, not a lot you know any they're actually just a little bit better than your blues not tremendously a lot better but enough I think they're almost the same price why not go ahead and get them and then get them over the blues because the blue hard drives are basically you know Western Digital's budget basic uh, hard disk drive and they're pretty decent, don't get me wrong. I'm still running a 6 terabyte as the backup drive in my system here. And it should run for 
many, many, many years, especially since the backups. I only do uh, backups twice a week anyway. And particularly if you're checking out my backup software, it is Asia Poo's Backup Pro. <laughs> and that will also be the commercial at the end of the video. Of course, if you're interested in that backup software, check it out. The link's down in the description. You can read up on it. But that's the software I use to back up everything to. But back to, to the West Digital Red, I got it. Three-year warranty. Pretty much the same price as the Blues. So you get a longer warranty from West Digital. Plus, these drives are designed to run cool and quiet. Now, I got the uh, the regular West Digital Red, not the West uh, Digital Red Pro. Uh, the Pros are uh, 7,200 RPM. The, the standard West Digital Reds are just 5,400 RPM, which is fine because the only thing I really do for this drive is actually save data onto it or have all my, my documents and you know music and all my archived uh, you know, YouTube videos and stuff I keep on that drive. So it's not something I'm accessing programs off of, it's just files, which makes a, a standard 5400 RPM hard drive pretty much perfect. And so that's kind of the reason I went with it. So like I said, it, the, in addition to the reds, what they have over the blues is they have uh, built-in NAS network attached, uh, network attached storage you know, software kind of built in. And now what that really does is just make them a little more compatible with a lot of NAS enclosures. That's basically it. Like I said, also, you know, taking the account that it's just built to run a little bit quieter, a little bit cooler. Those two reasons alone should be a, a good reason to buy uh, buy this drive over the blue alone. Plus, so, also, I did some benchmarks and stuff. And uh, if anybody's interested in benchmarks, let me hide my screen here so I can look at them. The, here's the score on Crystal Disk Mark I did. As you can see, my green drive here, uh, 88. 0.35 on the reads and i ran this test multiple times with 109 on the writes that's getting really really low and uh that's actually into the at one time this drive was running 150 on the reads with files on it so yeah, i don't know what's going wrong in this drive why it's starting to slow down but anytime you do one of these because this drive you know like i said this is 48 percent full but it's been fully deformat, uh, not format, defragged and everything. It should have been running much, much faster. And it got to where normally if you start up a drive, it's like in sleep status. It might take like a second or two before it spins up. Then you can see your files. It got to where in some instances it's taking up to 10 seconds. And like I said, experience talks me that's not exactly a good sign, even if the drive says it's healthy. So I updated it. And just take a look here. If you're interested in what the... Uh, my West Digital Blue drive is actually got, and it's like it's a six uh, terabyte. You know, it's still reading, you know, 147, you know, even half full, 147.8 on the uh, reads and 140s on the writes. Good drive. Like I said, it only runs like twice a week anyway for like, you know, like four or five hours at a time to make my full system backups. Yeah, this drive will probably run definitely until I change it up to something larger. Now, I also did some benchmarks on the uh, Western Digital Red here. Now, a lot of times you look at benchmarks and stuff, people do it with the drives empty. And after you start putting files in, they always slow down. So I gave you two benchmarks here. I actually did a benchmark on it empty as well as uh, with it uh, about 36% full, which is all my data that I copied off from the green drive over to my red drive. And we see here bone empty the drive gets 177.8 on the reads and 171.6 on the writes which is really darn good for a hard disk drive especially a 5400 rpm uh, disk hard drive you know because they're normally not the highest performing ones so that's actually really really good and then also we can see you know four uh, kilobyte you know datas and stuff down here those actually numbers are actually pretty decent too all right, now what we got down here on the drive is like 36% uh, thirty-six percent full. Let me get that out correctly. Like I said, after I copied the data off my green drive over to my red, which, like I said, it was what, took two and a half hours, especially since the uh, the green drive was running so slow on those reads. Uh, still, like I said, 36% full. It gets 160.7 on the reads and 151.4 on the writes, which is darn good. And like I said, performance for this one is like really, really good. Now, if anybody's asking, 
well, it's a 5400. Should I go for the Pro and get the 7200, or should I go for the Wedge Digital Black, which is also a 7200 RPM hard drive? And here's my opinion on that. Uh, the way since SSDs and stuff have gotten so much, you know, cheaper, you know, over the past couple of years, when they, that there really is no reason to go with a 7200 RPM hard drive unless it's the only hard drive in your system. Now, when I built up my daughter's uh, computer system recently, yeah, I went with a Seagate. Uh, that's not the Barracuda. It's the Firecuda. Yeah, it's a 7200 RPM, but it also has a kind of like the built-in uh, stack cache memory in it, like a small SSD built in that drive. Yeah, for after a single drive, yeah, you need a 7200. But really, the only difference what a 7200 is going to give you or a 5400 is going to help you find the files first the seek times are much much faster on those sometimes uh, depending on the hardware and stuff they put it in with the faster performing drives you'll get a little bit faster transfer speed but really there's not much more you can really milk out of a hard disk drive at this point if you want anything really fast in this you really need to go to the ssd and spend the money on that like i said the downside is there are no currently that i know of no affordable four terabyte ssds you know biggest ones you can find on the market right now or like two terabyte from like Samsung, and a couple of those can run up, you know, uh, above five hundred dollars. I think maybe around seven hundred. I forgot the exact price of the ones that just come out recently. And you really don't want to expend that much money on a that type of you know hard drive and stuff, that type of SSD for that small. If you really want to spend that much money, you could get a a bunch of uh, these reds, put them in a NAS enclosure, which is what they're designed for. And get that type of speed, but you, then you can get like 16 terabytes of storage, which is what I recommend you do. So, like I said, get these if you just want regular hard drive and stuff. Uh, it's more dependable than the blues. At least they're warranted to be more dependable. So, obviously, Western Digital thinks they are and feels they are. And, or, you know, like I said, if you want higher performance but don't need the storage, then the SSD. So, anyway, I hope I'm not rambling on too much about that. Like I said, that's the reason I got the Western Digital Red green was going out and be honest this was a high performer anyway but it was doing the job quite well and like i said i kind of got uh, paranoid and decided time to upgrade my hard drive and stuff if you like this video then you may also like a shampoo backup pro backup pro can back up and restore individual files or entire operating systems safely and securely backup support auto updates and can either be stored locally on network drives or in the cloud Learn more by clicking the link in the description below. Okay, everyone. Well, that's it for this video. Like I said, uh, if you're interested in Backup Pro 11, do check the link down in the description below. If you're also interested in getting, uh, checking out the West District Red hard drives, like the one I put in my system here, uh, link for it's down in the description below as well. And if you like this video, how about a thumbs up? A thumbs up's always highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel yet, you know, go ahead and take the time to subscribe. Subscribing's free, it's for you, and lets you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.